So today I'm gonna write a function that displays the background image based based on the time of the day. Uh, so what I meant this one. So we have two background images, uh, the daytime and the nighttime. So let's start. So it is better to have comments to make it clear for anyone to understand what's going on. So display image based on time. I just forgot be before we start writing this code, uh, we we still need to import some libraries. I mean, actually it's one library. So let's do it first. So first we need this package. Uh, this is the package we need for the date and time. Just copy the package version and open Android Studio. Just double click and pop spec .yaml. And under the dependencies here, Actually, yeah, it's part of it. Here, just type I N till, then paste the number, the version number, then click on packages get. Okay, good. Now go to the main. Actually, go first to the to the page, and let's see if we need to copy something else. Just copy this line and paste it here. Just I'm gonna make some changes here. We don't need this one. Yep, good. Now I'm going to start writing this function. Let's go. I'm gonna name this uh, function display image. Then I'm going to declare a variable, var, name it now, equal, date, time, dot now. We're using this function to get the current date and time. Then we're going to declare another variable, final. Final means its value will never change. Then I will name it current so time equal date oh, sorry date format GM format format we're going to format this variable, which is whole, uh, yeah, this one holds the value of the current time. So we go and reformat it here. In case you are wondering, what is this? It's going to reformat the current time to to what we want. So let's check their page and see. I mean their website. Here we have the date time, uh, the date format class. Just uh, scroll down. Yeah, here we're creating an object of this class and using this function. GM to return this value, so it's got it will return uh, the time in this format, and that's what we need. So let's go back to the Android Studio. Now, if condition, so if the current time contains, going to pass a string, so AM. Return image dot assets, and we'll give it the, the image path images slash day time dot jp jpg. Okay. Else if else if current time dot contains PM, sorry, PM, display the nighttime image, background image, return image, asset, 
opacity pack images slash night time dot jpg uh, so let's go over it again so after this uh, closing curly bracket of the build function just click enter and add a new line then you can write your comment at the top of the function then here we have the display image function with these uh, parentheses uh, every function must have these parentheses and we have this opening curly bracket here where the function starts so inside of this function we define two variables uh, the first one it's type var and it's going to hold the current time we can get the current time by using this class dot now function to get the current time and then we have this variable a variable and as I mentioned before the fi uh, final means you cannot change the value of it after it, it is initialized after reformatting the current time uh, this current time variable will hold this value then we will do this f condition if, if the current time contains contains this string so it's going to check if this current time contains am if, if it does it will return an image uh, it will return this daytime image if it doesn't it will check if it if it contains uh, pm then it will return the nighttime uh, background image that all it does in order to change the background image based on the current time just go to the widget here and here exactly here we don't need this anymore uh, you can call the function which is uh, which display yeah the, the second one here and don't forget to add a comma here because we imported dependencies and packages we it's better to stop running the app and rebuild it again so here we got the same result also here if you want to double check what the current time is you can just type print the current is then dollar sign then current time we're going to pass it like this also we'll copy this and paste it here so in case we are in the morning so it's going to print this message otherwise it's gonna, it will print this one so let's stop running the app and rebuild it again and see so here uh, in this console like we have the current time it just printed the value which is uh, it says the current time is 6 33 a.m. so what we have here is correct uh, you can remove these because we don't need them anymore those are for distant purposes